Hi, I'm Michelle Hurd, and I'm here in the studio recording the original Star Trek Picard audio drama, No Man's Land, by Kirsten Beyer and Mike Johnson. I'm having a really good time, too. One of the main differences about working on an audio drama as opposed to a television show uh, is that you don't have to rely on um, you know, makeup and, and costumes or sets or the lighting or all that. You get to really lean into being creative with your voice. And as an actor, that's you know, one of our, major, our favorite tools is our voice. There's something incredibly freeing and um, kind of courageous and brave about doing that. It's just like, I have no other helpers around me. You know, I don't have my, my really cool uniform or my fabulous wig or whatever. I'm just using my voice and leaning into it and getting intimate and really conveying emotions through uh, using the texture in my voice or the tone of my voice or whether it's a lower register or a higher register. Or it, it's really kind of exciting and it, it sort of reminds you of the the like when you first started acting and you know the opportunity to bring things alive and to make a character come to life on camera uh, you have that new thing about bringing a character and making it come to life in an audio version and um, that's kind of fun one of the things i also really love about doing this audio drama is when we start season two you come upon rafi and seven and you come into like the middle of their relationship. You come into these two women, um, strong, independent, stubborn <laughs> women, um, and their relationship has already been developed. They've already explored um, some of their you know, trials and tribulations, the good and the bad of it. What I love is that when you, you listen to this audio drama, you can sort of see where all those foundation things came from. You can see how they communicate, how they respect each other and care for each other and support each other. Um, and also where they clash and the way that they approach situations don't line up and how do they work with that? You know, like in a typical relationship, how do you mesh? How do you get cohesive? You know, can we get cohesive? Does it work that way? Or maybe the relationship is great because it's not cohesive. So I think what's great about this audiobook is that when you see season two, you'll have an understanding of um, why they are where they are. These are two incredibly smart, strong, stubborn, driven women, um, how will they mesh? How, how will they, they be on this journey together? I can see them being on this journey together because they're both so like-minded, but because they're so like-minded, uh, they might clash. Like, how does that happen? And, and I love that we didn't sort of get indulgent in the second season and just sort of go into that world because I feel that the world of Star Trek is sometimes bigger than any two relationships. It's more about the many, not necessarily about the few. Uh, we all individually um, tell our stories, but I feel like in the Star Trek universe, we tell our stories as to how they sit in this universe and in the experiences of the people that we're um, trying to help or that have come into the, our lives. And it has more of an impact to the whole and not just the few. So. Um, those who wanted to know about the few, about the seven in Rafi, you can sort of explore it during the audio drama. And when you want to see the full of how it impacts the world of Star Trek, you get to watch the television show. One of the most exciting things about doing this fully dramatized, fully uh, voiced audio drama is that uh, you think, oh, you know, is this something that I'm going to pop in while I'm driving or sitting on the couch and have someone just talking to me? And, you know, is it kind of like just a book? No. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about it is that it's filled with um, environment, <laughs> sound effects, immersiveness. You really feel like you are there with us. The battle scenes are exciting and intense and crazy and can be loud if you tune it up. The intimate scenes are, are gentle and emotional. Uh, so you really are there. Um, by listening to this audio drama, you are now a fly on the wall in all these scenes and you are on the ship with us and you're on the ground with us and you're fighting with us and you're feeling with us. Uh, so it's a 
it's a pretty cool experience, unlike anything that I've ever done before. I've really enjoyed working on it and bringing this kind of these words to life in this way where you are in the room with us, when you're experiencing it with us. I hope that you guys think that you're Rafi with me and Seven with her. It's, a, it's, it's really a team effort and um, I hope you guys enjoy it.